okay. So next up, we're going to be looking at the decomposition of nitramide in water that has the this chemical equation and this ripple's mechanism. And we're going to want to determine the rate law for each step. So rate one, rate negative one, because it's a reversible reaction, because it's an equilibrium. Um, rate two and rate three. And of course, rate overall. And yeah. Okay, so um, let's start by determining the individual rate laws. And we know that the individual rate laws depend on the reactants used. And so for rate one, it's called the molecularity. So it's going to be K1 multiplied by O2NNH2, because that's the only reactant in that case. Rate negative 1 is going to be equal to K negative 1, O2NNH minus, multiplied by H plus. Rate Two is going to be equal to K2 by the reactant that we have in that equation, which is O2 and N H minus. And lastly, rate three is going to be equal to K3 into H plus O H minus. And these are our individual rate laws. And so we know that the overall um, rate law depends on our slowest reactions rate law, and our slowest reaction is going to be this one. The reason why is because the reaction can only move as fast as its slowest uh, mechanism, because you can't have the third mechanism until the second one is complete, which means the reaction isn't complete yet. And so our rate overall is going to be equal to K2, O2, and then H minus. But the problem with this answer, and the reason why it does not look like the rate that's given in the equation, is because this is an intermediate. It's, it's um, a species that is produced and consumed within the reaction, so it doesn't appear in our overall reaction, which means we can't put it in our overall rate law because it's virtual in a sense. We can't measure it during the reaction and we need to put down things that we can measure. And so what we're going to do is we are going to use this in order to write it in terms of species that are in our overall rate, um, that are in our overall chemical equation. And so we know rate one is equal to rate minus one because they're in equilibrium. And so O2 and then H2 is equal to K minus 1, O2, and then H minus H plus. And then we just isolate for this, and we get O2 and N H minus is equal to K1, O2, H2 over K minus 1, this is supposed to be H plus, H plus. And then you just substitute that right back in here. And we get... is equal to K2, K1, O2, and then H2 over K minus 1, H plus. And if we decide that K is equal to K2, K1, over K minus 1, then 
rate overall becomes K O2 N N H2 over H plus. And this looks exactly like what we're given in the equation. And so that becomes our final answer.